Hey everybody, welcome back to Trek Yards. He is Commander M. He is Captain... There is no letter good enough. Anyway, yeah, we're here today to talk about Q. But he's dead. Is he though? That was the whole point of season two, Stuart. Didn't you watch season two? Jeez, Stuart. I think what the board or the Q though is that they are uh, non-corporeal, therefore non-linear. So, hmm. Linear. It's as if we had said the whole time in season two, and when they said he died, that okay, e even if they say he died, a iteration of him at the end of his personal non-linear timeline died, but him at any other point in his timeline would still be around doing things. So, doesn't affect the story in any way. Just knows he could die versus he did die. Or, or he was just pretending to die to, to f fake out Picard and get some kind of reaction and continue, help Picard to, to end his own journey with accepting things. Because, Stuart, if you remember, Terry Metalis, showrunner of season three, did a bit of season two and then left to make season three. He, of course, wrote a bit, directed a bit, or like, you know, produced a bit. He did go up into episode three where they sort of revealed that Q had a mystery, but didn't actually do the end of the seasons. And it kind of felt like season two got changed mid production because the end of Q stuff doesn't really feel like that's what they were leading up to. It feels like they changed it mid plot. So I don't necessarily believe they thought Q's dying because I would have done written an entire different first five episodes. So, does this episode wreck on season two? I hope so. That's my opinion. Regardless, it's, it's still a great ending. Um, so seeing him what come happened, back, Stuart? We haven't even said what happened. Oh, what hours. happened? Uh, we get a, you know, encounter at Farpoint moment where Q shows up for the first time. At least for, you know, Mr. Jack Crusher. Now in Starfleet. And, uh, you know, Picard's trial's over. Or he, well, Picard's version of the human trial is over. Now it's passed on to Jack, essentially. Not necessarily because he's a Picard, but anyway, yes, Q's back, and he's going to be a problem with, for Jack, I guess. So, And it's a very interesting vibe. I think Delancey can tone it down a little bit, but in a, in a uh, ooh sort of way, right? It was more mystery and intrigue versus joking and, and silly. I thought he, he nailed it. I thought he did a very good job. Almost like, almost like he wasn't thrilled by his death. And so appreciated to get a chance to say, ha, 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 Kind of the vibe I got from the scene, like he just had fun, but like deep fun, like, ha, uh ha. -huh. He, was, he was wearing his season two costume, but with red. Good, you know, they didn't want to rebuild the robes for the fourth time, uh, etc. So just, yeah, it was a good medium. I tried to Jack point a phase at him. It's like, yes, Jack. That'll work. But no, it was, it was really interesting. And... Like I said, I get the sense that what really they've just told us is that season two is not what we thought it was about. It's about Q needing Jack to be who he is, and therefore he had to make season two happen because he needed Picard to open up, and he has thought the only way to do that was to create an alternate timeline to then send him back into, to then fix, to then fight the Borg, who then going to solve a problem that Q had nothing to do with, to then allow... Picard to fall in love with Laris, who he then abandoned in favour of his ex-girlfriend and new son. All of that so he could open up and make Jack open up so that Jack could then become a Borg stooge to then get okay, to then be the man he needs to be today. You say all that, but I'm still not convinced that Picard left Laris. Yeah, it's uh, to, to have him accept the things to make him be able to um, wow. to accept his son a little bit better. Um, open his heart. Yeah. yeah. No, I... They... I that's interesting. Because yeah. we kind of thought, because you know how season two ended with Laris, that it was open his heart to a, a girlfriend. But actually, now if you take all three seasons, it was open his heart to a relationship with his son. Which is actually fundamentally far more satisfying. You know, every moment of them together is, is, a, is a gift. Him and Laris is, she was married in season one. We're going to wreck on that. And now he loves, you know, I mean, we're going to change it, make it. You know, th that was not powerful. It was a thing. This is powerful and it's a meaningful big thing, right? The power of love. Yeah, but it Q, makes Huey sense. Lewis and the news. John, look, look, even John Luke Pickard needs love, okay? He does. 
And were they hinting as well in that final scene that Jack changed his name to Jack Picard? Because he said, N the name got you in. I mean, Crush is still an important name, but was that implied? No, it wasn't. Just that his dad's Picard. Okay. The, not, not that he changed his name, but yeah. Yeah, so. That was subtly implied. No, I, I don't think he, I, I don't think he would change his name to Picard. That's a good point. Well, right. Because otherwise, there is no more Picards, and Picards die with with Picard. That's what really, I meant. Because his DNA. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, the name Picard. That, that's again the point of season one and season two is that the Picards die here. So if he did change his name to Picard, that would allow him to continue forevermore. They they could now be Picards in the thirty first or whatever century. And just just a thought, as I as I thought that was going to be a lovely payoff to that, you know, and you, and you change your name to Picard. Look, okay, Dad, I thought I want to be really nice to you, and I'm not. I'm crushing Picard. It's all right. Yes, but Picard, thank you, son. You're right, Dad. Now tell you about Q. Q who? Ah, uh... jokes, comedy on track yards. But no, I thought John was John Watson was great. You know, that certainly implies to me that if and when we get the people at Paramount say, let's give Terry more money. We'll suddenly get Jack on the Titan with Seven and Q being there to restart the ride. Kind of fresh again. I mean, how on earth would he take that? You know, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think they're necessarily, if there is going to be a, a show moving forward, uh, I don't think they're necessarily going to focus on Q. Just a possibility uh, that's set up that it could come back at any point, even in novels, comics, whatever, uh, that is now set up open door. And, uh, so even if we don't see it again in live action, there's always that possibility that, that it's going to any time, any, any moment he could show up. So yeah, it was, it was I kind of vibe. It's more direct, very much a literal next, next generation, but with him could jump in and do cool things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on Q? Um, I want to hear them. And how do you Hit feel like if it is a retcon as well of season two? Are you happy that they undid it, or is it just a bonus other? Let us know. But hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, notify yourself with the notification bell icon, and by all means, join us for more content and uh, maybe help us out on this one. Not only hitting the like, but there's other options. Or join us for lives. So this is where Commander M steps in. And if you want to support us here on Tricards, you can do it monthly by Patreon. You go you search Patreon slash Tricards on the internet, and you will get there. Or join the channel to be part of our fleet if you want to work with us here. Then you can join the fleet. Maybe you one day will be on the Enterprise G once I get Enterprise G in the fleet, because now we know what the G is. God, how many four Enterprises? God, you really get the B and the C in there. We have all the and if you want the chance of having the Enterprise G, Audi. Join at the Ring of Admiral. Yeah. Just saying. Look at you the perks, could be you'll see. Captain of the Enterprise. Seven who? Insert name there. That could be you. Or one time donation at trackcards at hotmail.com or pay or super chat, that's the word. Super chat us on any of our lives. Let us know what you think. That's our direct communication platform. Or super thanks to Super Chat, but on pre-recorded content on any of our videos, anything and everything helps. So thank you in advance. Thanks for being here. All of our card content. So until next time, he is Commander M. He's Captain... X, baby. Mm. Enjoy the fleet video. Bye, guys. <laughs>